What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We just sold out Jaspi's 10 box hit parade mixer number three. Random teams again with features five boxes of sapphire, five boxes of emerald. Now, again, guys, there are a couple previews here that you could potentially pull out of these cases. Now, I don't think this is the complete full sell sheet hits of all of them, but I think the majority of them. So, see what we can get out of here, guys. So, remember, it's five boxes of hit parade sapphire edition, all licensed edition, meaning that'll be all licensed products. And then five boxes of Hip Rate Emerald Edition Series 3. So here's the dice roll. Here's the customer names and the teams. Let's click dice roll. And it is a three and a one four times. Uh, one, two, three, and four. Four times. Four, four. Steve Herrick down to Stephen Barry. Boom. Four times. Four times. One, two, three, four. Oakland A's down to the Guardians. All right, so Steve, you have the A's. Name them with the Padres. Uh, Steve with the uh, Marlins. Eugene K with the Phillies. Phil, you have the Pirates. Tristan with the Mariners. John Paul with the Angels. Phil with the Twins. Nathan with the Dodgers. Stephen Bear with the Mets. Tristan with the Blue Jays. Nathan with the Rangers and Nationals. Jimmy with the Astros. David with the Royals. Chad with the Yankees. Craig. The Giants, Eric with the Orioles, Eugene Lee with the Braves, Phil with the Brewers, Jimmy with the Tigers, Jimmy with the White Sox, Steve with the Diamondbacks, Brian with the Rays, CJ with the Red Sox, Eugene Lee with the Rockies, JMS with the uh, Reds, CJ with the Gar um, Cardinals, Tristan with the Cubs, and Stephen Berry uh, with the Cleveland Guardians. Well, Rex, bro, are you literally asking how credible is Jeff? Pa I mean, make sure you're following the right Jeff Passon. <laughs> He's like the Woj. Of baseball. Just make sure you're you're looking at the right one. That actually works uh, and has this verified. Because I'm pretty sure, I don't think he tweeted that. So you're looking at a fake one, probably. But yes, of course he's credible, bro. He's like the woes of baseball, but. You just don't be looking at fake accounts, though. <laughs> Make sure he has a million followers, too. <laughs> You're probably looking at a guy that probably has like 10 followers, but has the same photo as him, says he's Jeff Passon. <laughs> Come on, Rex, don't fall for that stuff. Now I gotta find that tweet. Now I gotta find that tweet that Rex fell for. Dude, that's your first mistake, Rex. Don't be googling trade rumors. Just wait for the actual people to tweet it out, or see it on the, on ESPN or MLB TV. All right, guys. Well, I'm assuming no trades in.
I know, bro. I swear, right? <laughs> Yeah, but you were saying that he's, how credible is he? Of course he's very credible, but not when it's a guy impersonating him. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Let's close this. <laughs> Yeah, maybe on like an official website. I'm not just Googling. I don't know. I'm sure there's like a website, isn't there like MLBTradeRumors.com or something? That like someone probably runs professionally? I don't know. Oh. All right, here we go. Nobody there. I just love like during football time or like just any, I mean, maybe any sport, but just like football time. But, uh, you know, I love when then people will be coming out with these fake accounts and just pretending to be like Jeff Passan and they're just like, the Dodgers have just signed Shohei Otani for a, a billion dollars. <laughs> it's just like, it looks all legit and real, but it's actually all fake. So these guys have made the time to create a fake account just for clicks. And people fall for that stuff too. It's funny. Alright guys, I'm gonna open up each case. And like I said, it is five boxes of each one, so we'll decide which five boxes we use here right now. stuck. So we're going to do the same thing like we did last time, guys. So left or right here, left or right here. If I roll a one, two, three, we're going to go with the left sides for each case. If I roll a four, five, six, we're going to go with the right sides for each case. Okay. Okie dokie. Here we go. Let's get a new dice. Roll it. And two. Left sides. So these right here. Put a little line through them. That way, you guys know it's from the same case. And then that'll be for number four. The last ones. Which has already been posted too, guys, so you guys can start buying into the next one. All right, here we go, guys. Paul Goldschmidt to start us off. 2022 Tops Japan Edition autograph. PSA 10. Very nice. St. Louis Cardinals. CJ on the board. 
Turkish delights. That's what I feel like when I hear uh, Breaker's Delight. Just thinks of like, what's that kid's name in Narnia? All he wanted was just Turkish delights. Pete Alonzo, very nice. I <laughs> he literally sold out for Turkish Delights. <laughs> for real, dude. I swear. Uh, 2020 Tops Chrome update. Pete Alonzo. Very nice. For the Mets, Stephen Barry. Mr. Thomas. That was actually a really good movie, though. Nice, Manny Machado. One of one from Signature Series Archives. Very nice. Little patch autograph uh, from 2017 Topps Baseball Series 1. Little Uno of Uno. Nice with that for the Orioles. Eric. It's way over here. There you go. Just woke up some people right now, like at one in the morning. They're like, oh my god. All right, next one. It's a heavy one, guys, really heavy. It might be like the Transcendent or something. Nice, Derek Jeter. There we go. Who has a yank? Is this a sell sheet hit? I feel like it should be. I don't see it on here. Oh, it is, yes, it is a sell sheet hit. Very nice, 2022 Topps Gilded, actually, sorry. That's Topps Gilded, six out of 10. Gold frame, Hall of Fame autographs. Everything was great minus the surface though. Centering 9.5, corners 9.5, edges 9, but the surface was 8.5, so I gave it a 9. But, still very nice. Yankees, Chad B. There you go. And, let's end it off with this one right here. And a Nico Horner for the Cubbies. 6 out of 25. PSA 10 on the card and PSA 10 on the auto. Nice one for the Cubs. Cubs. Tristan. Tristan. With the hit right there. Okay, nice. Very solid first five here. Now we're going to go to the big boy stuff here, the Sapphire. Remember, this is all licensed edition, meaning that everything here will be officially licensed, so... You won't see something that's, uh, you know, potentially like Leaf or, you know, Panini doesn't have officially licensed products. It'll be everything that's officially licensed from either products back in the day or currently with Tops. All right, here we go. Got... Out of 20, Miguel Cabrera. And that looks like from Tops Transcendent. Very nice for the Detroit Tigers. That's from 2021. Transcendent. Miggy. Tigers. Jimmy. On the board. Jimmy got that Vegas mojo right now. Very nice. I, I remember he started off so hot, but he had a very, like, uh, I think bad shoulder injury or something out for the season. But a very, very nice Garrett Mitchell Bowman draft picks. First black refractor, PSA 10 out of 75 for the Milwaukee Brewers. That is a nice one right there. Brewers going to Phil. There you go, Phil. I know you were watching, right? Jimmy told me he was like sliding or something like that and his shoulder got messed up.
Woo! Wow! Is this a cell sheet hit too? I don't see it on there. But how about a triple auto, triple relic? Ken Griffey Jr., Mark McGuire, and Roberto Alomar. I don't see it on there, but it could still be a sell sheet hit though. Because obviously, like I said, I don't think all of them are shown on there. But it looks like they might have a randomizer, guys. So Mariners, Tristan, Cardinals, CJ, Orioles, Eric. There you go. Nah, so we're booked for the night already, man. And the only break is close to the, the dual caser, and, and that obviously it's not going to happen tonight, so. Um, yeah, we're going to break live with Joe, early with Joe, and then uh, at the National, and then I'll be live again here in the afternoon, like normal. And then look out for potential more breaks to be posted, too, I don't know. So we're basically done here, man. Yeah, because I think the only other break that I can do right now, if anything, would be the dual caser, and obviously that's still a little ways to go. Well, that's like an hour and a half break, almost two hours, so. But I am going to be doing the Basketball Hit Parade Emerald, though, after this. So. What about a Shohei Otani? Very nice. 52, uh, 5082 Montgomery Club set rookie. PSA 10 for the Angels. Angels going to jump off. There you go, a little Shohei. Showtime. And last box here. 25 out of one hundo. Hundo. Feels a little heavy, guys. Maybe another framed auto or something. Maybe another framed auto. Let's check it out. And it's Chipper Jones. Two out of five, and that is from Hall of Fame, I think, Transcendent. 2018. Two out of five for the Braves, Eugene Lee. There you go. All right. There you go. Some solid stuff popping out of here, guys. Very nice. So, again, five boxes of Sapphire, five boxes of Emerald. Uh, did hit some very, very nice ones, but still some very nice ones still hiding here in the remaining boxes. I do have to do this randomizer really quick, guys, between uh, these three customers here. I know, Steve. Sorry, buddy. It is a it is a tough break because only 10 hits popping out, 30 teams. So a little tough, but thanks for giving it a shot, man. Get it on the next one, man. I know. Uh, all right, so Mariners, Orioles, and Cardinals. Cardinals. All right, so all right, here we go. Roll. Four and a five, nine times. Four, five, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And ninth and final time. Here we go. Boom. Orioles. Roberto Alomar wins that randomizer. Boom. Going to Eric Clicks. So there you go. Congratulations, buddy. After nine times. Orioles win that randomizer, and now you have this Ken Griffey Jr., Roberto Alomar, and Mark McGuire, triple auto, triple relic, to 36. Nice. Grog, you shocks. All right, appreciate you guys. Jaspies, Kingsbreaks, I hope you guys. Next one is in the store.